suing the federal government. It says the feds are in interfering with their right to monitor marijuana dispensaries. All rise, Judge Andrew Napolitano is here. I'm not sure I got that right. I think the Fed is saying, hey, shut that thing down. Is that correct? Yes, uh, the Feds are saying that. And this is a very, very uh, bizarre area of the law because President Obama stated publicly that he would not have his Justice Department interfere with the lawful disp uh, dispensing of marijuana pursuant to state law in places right. where it is lawful. Right. So, for example, in Montclair, New Jersey, not far from where you live and not far from where I live, the state of New Jersey uh, has authorized the establishment of a dispensary of medical marijuana, and the federal government is not interfering with it. 3,000 miles away in Oakland, California, a similar, similar dispensary is the target uh, of this lawsuit. All right, why? why? Well, I, well what, we, what, we what, don't what? know why the federal government, which, which outlaws all marijuana to everyone under every circumstance, notwithstanding what the states do, has decided to look the other way in the case of New Jersey, but enforce the law aggressively and literally in the case of California. Well, they don't, the they don't have to give a reason why they're enforcing they don't? the law, so and they don't give such a can reason. Can the people in California, the Oakland people, can't they go to federal court and say, hey, wait a minute, you guys, you feds, you're discriminating. You're not going after Montclair, New Jersey, you you're know, going after us. You, you can't know do that. so much more about the Constitution than you're willing to admit. And <laughs> I know you were just about to say that that argument would argue a violation of equal protection. Precisely. How can they treat Montclair and Oakland right. unequally? How can they let Montclair survive and thrive, but try and put Oakland out of business? The feds would then have to explain that to a judge. Because the equal so, protection clause, uh, as interpreted by that constitutional scholar Stuart Varney, requires that <laughs> requires that the federal government treat similarly situated entities in a similar way. So answer the question. How can they get away with it? I, we, they can't get away with it, depending upon what the federal judges in California will do. Now, now you, they have invoked another power to demolish this Oakland facility, the power of condemnation. That's the same power that was affirmed by the Supreme Court in that infamous Kelo case. The federal government and the state governments can take any real estate they want for any reason they want. I just suggest that you guys are bearing the lead for a second. Why is it that California, the most liberal state in the country, is coming down harder on this marijuana facility than New it's Jersey, not California. which is governed by it, it, uh, a conservative It's, it's not California that's coming down on Oakland, California. It's the feds that's Washington, coming down on California. The defendant again, in this case is Eric Holder. You have a chance, yeah. of, you have a chance of coming down hard in, in New Jersey, the Fed does, with a governor that is a Republican, or coming down harder in California, where the governor is a Democrat. Why are they focusing on the Democratic state rather than a Republican? Republican state. You know, because he's going to win anyway. They may not know the answer to this until they give a rational explanation in federal court after election day. And, and uh, unfortunately, Something political going on, don't correct, you suspect? Correct. Unfortunately, for people who need medical marijuana, and, and the, the medical literature is serious and not disputable that this helps ameliorate pain. The feds can enforce federal law or not enforce federal law wherever they want. Unless a federal judge tells them otherwise. And don't Unless ever, Varney tells them I have them seen otherwise. that medical it's, evidence disputed, by the way, so it's not 100%, but go ahead. And don't ever bury the lead again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Stuart Phillip told me to bury the lead. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I missed perfect. it for a week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've been lucky. <laughs> the debates. Here's a fact.